Welcome everyone. This is the task video on electrochemical reactions. We will do some practice questions on the different aspects that we covered in this series. Have your pen and paper ready to answer the questions. Remember to pause the video after each question so that you can work out the answer before going on to the next question. Let's begin. In question one, you need to choose the correct answer. Electrochemistry involves the transfer of electrons or neutrons or protons. Electrochemical reactions are an acid, a base, or a redox reaction. What do we call a device that makes use of an electrochemical reaction? Your options are a closed circuit or an electrochemical cell. Let's test some more definitions. Is reduction the gain or loss of electrons? Does reduction take place at the anode or the cathode? Is oxidation the gain or loss of electrons? Does oxidation occur at the anode or cathode? Magnesium metal is written as Mg solid or as Mg2 plus aqueous. Magnesium ions dissolved in water are written as Mg solid or as Mg2 plus aqueous. Magnesium metal, Mg, has a silver or colorless color. Magnesium, Mg2+, has a silver or colorless color. Now we have longer types of questions to answer. What is a galvanic cell? Mention two alternative terms for a galvanic cell. What energy conversion takes place in a galvanic cell? Describe an electrolytic cell. Is an electrolytic cell spontaneous or non-spontaneous? It is time for you to get your table of standard reduction potentials and revise how to determine oxidation numbers so that you can identify reduction and oxidation in the following chemical reactions. In each of the following equations, say which atoms in the reactants are oxidized and which are reduced. The first one is solid copper oxide reacts with hydrogen gas to form solid copper and water in the gas phase. Two moles of nitrogen oxide gas reacts with two moles of gaseous carbon monoxide to form nitrogen gas and two moles of carbon dioxide. Solid magnesium reacts with iron sulfate to form magnesium sulfate and iron. Solid zinc reacts with silver nitrate in solution to form solid silver in a zinc nitrate solution. In question five, we use Hoff reactions to balance a redox reaction. Write down the oxidation Hoff reaction, reduction Hoff reaction, and balance net redox reaction for each of the following. Copper reacts with the silver nitrate solution. Magnesium reacts with the nickel nitrate solution. The next question is, what is a spectator ion? In the next two questions, we will look at galvanic cell type questions. The cell notation of a standard galvanic cell that contains an unknown metal electrode X is shown. The cell is at standard conditions. The first question is, name the component of the cell represented by the double vertical lines in the cell notation. State the two standard conditions that are applicable to the cell. Identify the oxidizing agent in the above cell. The initial reading on a voltmeter connected across the electrodes of the above cell is 1,53 volts. Identify metal X by calculating the standard reduction potential of the unknown metal X. Write down the balanced equation for the net reaction, that is the overall reaction that takes place in this cell. Leave the spectator ions out. How will the initial voltmeter reading be affected if the concentration of the electrolyte in the X half cell is increased? You should only use the words increases, decreases, or remains the same. No explanation is required. 
write down the value of the reading on the voltmeter when the cell reaction has reached equilibrium. The diagram shows an electrochemical cell set up under standard conditions using aluminium and nickel electrodes. An aluminium chloride solution and a nickel chloride solution are used as the electrolytes, and a solution of sodium nitrate is used in the salt bridge. The diagram indicates that electrons flow from metal X to metal Y. Identify metal X and electrolyte B. What is the concentration of electrolyte B? Write down the formula of the substance that moves towards metal Y in the salt bridge. Write down the half reaction that occurs at the cathode of this cell. Calculate the reading on the voltmeter at a temperature of 289 Kelvin. State what happens to the concentration of metal ions in the solution containing electrolyte A as time goes by. Only write increases, decreases, or remains the same. What effect does the change of concentration mentioned in the previous question have on the voltmeter reading? Briefly explain your answer. The next question deals with an electrolytic cell. The diagram represents a cell that can be used to electroplate a tin metal with a thin layer of silver to improve its appearance. Which is the anode in this cell, P or the metal? Write down the following. The symbol of the element of which electrode P is composed and the name of the electrolyte that has to be used to achieve the desired results. Switch S is now closed. Write down the visible changes that will occur at the electrode P and at the metal. Write down the equation for the half reaction to the answer that is observed on the metal. How will the concentration of the electrolyte change during the electroplating process? Write down only increases, decreases, or remains the same. You want to coat the metal with copper instead of silver. State two changes that you will make to the above cell to obtain a metal coated with copper. The standard potential reduction table uses the hydrogen cell as reference. The next question uses the reference cell. A hydrogen half cell is connected to an unknown half cell. The voltmeter reading in the external circuit is 0 0.80 volt. Identify the unknown cell showing all your calculations. Write down the cell notation of the cell. Aluminium is one of the most abundant metals on Earth, yet it is expensive largely because of the amount of electricity needed to extract it. And the next question, we'll look at the extraction of aluminium. Aluminium ore is called bauxite. The bauxite is purified to yield a white powder, aluminium oxide, from which aluminium can be extracted. The diagram shows an electrolytic cell used for the extraction of aluminium at temperatures as high as 1000 degrees Celsius. State the energy conversion that takes place in this electrolytic cell. Is aluminium formed at the positive or negative electrode? Write down positive or negative only. Use the table of standard reduction potentials, that is table 4B, to write down the half reaction for the formation of aluminium. Explain why carbon dioxide gas is formed at one of the electrodes. Why should the carbon electrodes be replaced regularly? Write down two negative effects that the extraction of aluminium can have on the environment. The last question deals with the chloroalkali industry. The diagram shows a type of membrane cell used in the chloroalkali industry. Name the gases A and B. Why is the membrane called a cationic membrane? Write down the half reaction that takes place at electrode N. Apart from its use in household products, Name one industrial use of chlorine. 
explain why this electrolytic process cannot be done in one large container without a membrane. All the answers to these questions can be found in the series guide. Grade 12s, there are just a few examples of possible questions on the topic of electrochemistry. It is extremely important that you practice a lot more. You'll also find more information on our website. Thank you for watching and goodbye.